Hello everyone, my name is Choi Lin and my metric number is 202640. Now I'm going to discuss about our practical for repeat metabolism. In this practical, there are two parts, which is part 1, standard curve construction and part 2, life based assay. Now we proceed to the part 1, standard curve construction. There are a total of 6 steps in this part. Step number 1. You need to prepare the olive acid stock solution by adding 0.27 ml of olive acid and 26.73 ml of isooctane. After that, we stir the mixture using magnetic ball until emulsified. Step number two, we distribute the stock solution to three wires triplicates with the following volume. Step number three, we make up the volume to 5 ml for each wire with isooctane. Step number four, we add 1 ml of copper pitin reagent to each wire and vortex for 15 seconds. Step number five, we measure before measure the absorbance, we need to let the wire settle down for 30 minutes to 1 hour. After that, we can now measure the absorbance of the organic layer against an isooctane blank at the wavelength of 715 nanometer. The last step, which is step 6, we can now construct a standard curve by plotting the absorbance obtained in the previous step versus the amount of oil acid in 5 ml isooctane. Okay, now we go to the part 2, lipase acid. There are a total of 8 steps in this part. Step number 1, we need to prepare the substrate by homogenizing the olive oil and 50 millimole of triamino methane tri hydrochloride buffer at pH 7 at the ratio of 1 to 1 until the mixture is emulsified and the color of the mixture turn white creamy with no double layer. Okay, step number 2. We need to add 2.5 ml of substrate emulsion, 0.02 ml of 20 millimol calcium chloride, 0.005 ml of 500 unit per liter crude lipase sample, and 0.995 ml buffer for each wire and we prepare the wire for triplicates. Step number three, we can now incubate the mixture in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius and set and shake at 150 revolution per minute for 30 minutes. Step number four, now we stop the reaction by adding one ml of six N hydrogen chloride and then we add 5 ml of isooctane as an extraction solvent. Step number 5, we now vortex the mixture vigorously for 30 seconds and leave the mixture for 15 minutes. Step number 6, now we transfer 4 ml of the upper layer of isooctane into a new test tube and add 1 ml of copper reading into the test tube. Next, we will text the test tube for 30 seconds and leave it to settle down for an hour. Step number 7, we take 1 ml of the upper layer solution 
and measure the absorbance at 715 nanometer of wavelength. We use the isooctane as a blank. If the absorbance reading is way too high or more than the concentration of oleic acid detected in standard curve, we need to repeat the previous steps by diluting the sample. The, la okay, the last step, step number 8, we can now calculate the lipase activity according to the oleic acid standard curve that we have made in part A. Okay, thank you. That's all from me.